Now that we have determined the line of intersection, we must view the line of intersection as a true length. A line will appear as a true length if the line is parallel to the plane of projection and the line of sight is perpendicular to the projection plane. To get the true length, we must look perpendicular to the line and set up a projection plane parallel to the line of intersection. For this, we must use an auxiliary view. An auxiliary view is an extra view which allows you to see something you cannot already see in an already given view. The X1, Y1 line represents a projection plane that is parallel to the line of intersection and plan. The line of sight is perpendicular to the projection plane, i.e. the X1, Y1 line. All points are projected up perpendicular to the true length. Each point is projected up individually to avoid confusion. When we are projecting an auxiliary from the plan, we are creating an auxiliary elevation. Therefore, we must take our height from the elevation and transfer the heights to the auxiliary elevation. All points on the planes ABC and DEF, including the points on the line of intersection, are transferred into the auxiliary elevation using the heights from our elevation.
once the height of all the points on the planes and the points on the line of intersection are transferred from elevation to auxiliary elevation, we join the points and we have an auxiliary elevation of the planes ABC and DEF, including the true length of the line of intersection.